Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. First, thank you everybody for your comments and your great ideas for new videos. I love that. Please subscribe. I want to show you today something that I use quite a bit. It deals with titles and how to make them dynamic. We all know how to make, or I guess not everyone may know how to make. Edit titles, you come here, you can click on the drop down insert and you can add any of the fields that you have in your workspace. And what happens is as you deselect various items, eh, if there's two items, it's not too bad. If there's one item, it's not too bad. There's none, there's all. Eh. If you have a bunch of them, it can get a little bit messy. What we like to do is we'd like to clean that up. I've already created a table, a field that says, if there's one market, if on this visual, there's one, the count, it's distinct, so you might have multiple rows, but there's only one, then we're going to call min, the market, and then we're going to just call it the market. The reason you have to have the min here, I'm going to delete it for a second, you cannot mix aggregate and non-aggregate comparisons or results. And the way you kind of trick Tableau is you can put max or min. Max or min of just one value is going to be that value. You could also use attributes. Else we're going to just say selected markets and show what that looks like. So we're going to bring the market title. Oops. May have to. Oh, we've already got market title because it was in the tooltips. Get rid of market. And we've got market listed twice. Get rid of that. So now if it's single, it'll say market. And if it's plural, it'll say market. So we've got this. But if we select everything, it says selected markets. Well, we'd like to say have it say all markets. So let's come over to edit titles. This is going to get a little bit um, involved. So we're going to add right here an else if. Else if, we're going to do the same count, count D, for distinct market. If the number, if the market count is equal to we're going to use a fixed expression. This is saying forget all the filters. And we're going to, actually, if you don't have any criteria, we'll just, you can put in the squiggly brackets. We can just say count D market. And so this is saying, regardless of any filters that might be on there, give me the count. Then we're going to say all markets. So there's a problem here. Let's see what the problem is. Cannot mix aggregate and non-aggregate. So the way we trick Tableau, so we'll put max in front of it, and there you go. So now it says all markets, and selected markets, and one market. Make sure you leave comments. I'd love to hear what you have to what you have to say and what you think.